All right, it's uh, Suya's Generous Fishing Rodeo. We're, in, we're on Elmer's Isle. Grand Island is over. Grand Isle is over there. I'm gonna catch bait. Mostly uh, big ass pogies, Menhadens. All right. All right, now I'm on the uh, beach here on Elmer's Isle. Can't drive on it anymore, so you have to park back there. And I'm gonna fish with my three big rods out that way for black tips bulls and whatever. Sui Generous is a, a restaurant in the Bywater. This is like a small neighborhood fishing rodeo. Most of these people don't have much experience with fishing, so Ernie and me, Ernie's the owner, we're basically going to instruct them and give them a good time and put them on some big fish. This water is really dirty. First rod is on a three-way rig, a piece of mullet, it's a 12-foot ugly stick with a Pursuit pin reel, it's a Pursuit 2. You want it? You don't want it? Yeah, I don't want it either. Gave up on the dirty water on the beach. We're now in a tidal pool. It's Elmer's Isle. It's the pier. This is the staff of uh, Suez Generous. Yeah. It's your fishing rodeo, yeah. and I'm here to make it happen. Awesome. I hope it happens. Yeah. yeah. I feel good about it. So, this is Sunday, and we just had like a three day tarpon rodeo come through here. There's dirty water everywhere, especially on the beach on Elmer's and the beach on uh, Grand Isle. It's not so bad over here, but it's just because we've had so much rain. We're going to see if we can make this happen. You want to catch a big bull red, don't you? Yeah. Well, <laughs> me too, but it might be a croaker. I hope hope something good happens. Now that's what I want, fresh mullet. And now I'm going to beat one of them up and make sure I don't like cutting them up when they're alive. Not a good thing to do, but I like to do this to bust them up and get the blood flowing through the Outside. meat. Yeah, so when I cut it up, it's nice and bloody. All right, let's cut that up and get to fishing. You got him? Got All right. You got a little Got a hard head. Yeah. It's been slow because it's been a lot of rain, but I think this is the best bet, better than the beach. Look, I'm getting a bite too. Yeah, you're right. You still got your bait too. You know how to cast, right? Oh. I had something and then I didn't. There's a lot of, a lot of catfish out there. He's gonna show me his bull red he caught here this this morning, right? You caught that here this morning? Yeah. Look at that. Did you measure it? Yeah. What? <laughs> ah, people just freaking out over your fish. That's nice, that's nice. He's longer than I said. Uh, I'm happy said, for you. I said, I said he was 30 inches. He's about 34. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's nice. So you only got the one though, right? Yeah. Of that size. Yeah, guys did pretty good on trout though, right? Yeah. Fishing the pier was better than the beach, right? <laughs> Dude. How many pounds is that? 20 some odd pounds. Yeah, 20. Look at your specs. Speckled trout, straight. Purple wind, white. I would have been a happy camper if I catch one speckled trout. They didn't really start out fighting me until about 3 o'clock this morning. Though. Really? And I was using all the fish, I was using speak I don't know if I have any. Well, I got, I got stuff. I just keep at it all night. I didn't even realize I was reeling in a fish. Look at that. There you go. What is that? My first keeper fish. Sand mullet. Sand mullet or channel mullet? Channel mullet. Oh, I've heard of these. I've never caught them before. Yeah, I'm going to hit the bottom. I was fine, but too good a bait to give me a hit and not get the hook. And I'm going to hit the bottom now. See this? I'm going to reel it in a little bit. The tide is going out. So that's only like about four ounces of weight. Eventually it's going to bring it this way, but you just want to reel up that slack because you, this is inshore. That's the ocean. Tide's going out that way. So if I get like a big bite, do you want to like well, kind of yank it and send it? Well, that... We don't have anything to to stick the rod in. So what we're going to do is we're going to loosen the drag, mm -hmm. right? Tightening the drag is like if this was a clock, you go clockwise tighten it, yeah. to tighten it. Yeah. Tight. Later it gets, the tighter it is. So you want to turn time backwards, and make it nice and loose. Not that loose. So when a fish takes it, it's going to make this noise. Yeah. Peeling off drag. Alright. And there'll be some action on there too. And so you're already yeah. getting a bit of a bite. It's probably a little cat, but just just wait it, and watch it. I'm going to top another rod. What do, you, what do you know? It's a double header of cat from the garbage. That's a bigger one. Yeah, that's a big one. I'd love to, to stay and fish, but I need to go eat. So I'm gonna do a little bit of more, a little more fishing after that. Good morning. It's morning time. I'm on the Parish Line Bridge. Here on Elmer's Isle in uh, Louisiana, Grand Isle is down the road. So this morning I'm fishing for trout with a finger mullet and I've got some live menhaden in my bucket that I caught in the net. Well, I got a, a dead menhaden. I've got some live ones. We'll put on a finger mullet now. Come on. Come on back this way. There's some mullet. Need some baby men here. Here we go. I'm not going to let the net go too far down. Here we go. That's what I need. Okay, little men Hayden, that's what. Most people have been having their little menhaden hooked on live like that is what most people over the past couple of days here have been having the most luck on. Water's been dirty from all the rain, so there's not a lot of luck, but there is some. Tide's going out right now. It's coming up on 8 o'clock. So I'm drop shotting these live menhaden this morning. 
using an ounce and a half of weight, uh, a size four kale hook. And I'm throwing it <clears throat> out, the current's coming towards me and I'm just letting it ride in the current. But once it gets close to the bridge, I don't let it go under the bridge, just up to the edge. And I'm getting bites out there. I've lost a few Menhaden. My friend Steven is over here on the other side of the bridge fishing with a voodoo shrimp. He just got something. You're gonna bring it over and we'll see what it is. That's a nice speck. I see that. That's your, is that your first speck ever? I think so. Yeah, you're right. You may, <laughs> may win the biggest speck. We're uh, fishing a neighborhood fishing rodeo called, uh, hey look, he swallowed that voodoo shrimp. This is uh, the Sui Generous Fishing Rodeo. Sui Generous is a restaurant in the Bywater. It's kind of a staff appreciation and customers come along too. That's good job, Steven. Let's measure it. Maybe you can, uh, whoa. Good save, good save. Good save. All right, let's measure this fish. 14 and a half. Yeah, definitely. Get that voodoo shrimp out of its mouth and throw him in the ice chest. I believe that's it. I'm running out of time. I've got to go. So, I'll see you next time. Hot anyway.